Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And I just got off the phone with a customer about some bed bugs. It's been a while since I did a bed bug video. I've been uh, working on some videos about cockroaches and uh, mice and, and other different things on my channel. I've got a, a Mouse Monday I just did in November. I've got a Cockroach Monday that I'm doing in December and probably into January. But this is a video today we're going to talk about another way that exterminators are overcharging you for a bed bug treatment. Um, Alright, so you've got bed bugs and you call your exterminator. You may have watched some of my videos and you know that you don't want a heat treatment for bed bugs because they're not very effective. Now, let me explain to you why heat treatments don't work for bed bugs. Um, one of the ways that a pest control technician will sell you a heat treatment, or a salesman or whatever, uh, will sell you a heat treatment is they will tell you, all right, imagine you've got a pot on the stove, and you have water, it's full of water, and you take a frog and you place it in the cool water. That frog's really happy. Frogs like water, you know. You turn the burner on, and as the heat rises in the water, the frog eventually is boiled to death, and he dies. That's how a heat treatment works on bed bugs. As you heat the room up to a certain degree, the bed bugs die. And that sounds really good. It makes some sense, you know, when you really think about it, though you can kind of pick it apart. All right, so my argument is, let's say we got an aquarium. And we fill the aquarium full of water. Put a heating element and you're able to get the water to boil in that certain spot in the aquarium. Is the frog going to stay in that spot or is he going to move to where the water is cooler? Well, obviously the frog is going to move where the water is more comfortable. And he'll swim away from it. So what happens in your home when it gets heated to the point where it's going to start killing bed bugs. You can go on YouTube, by, too, by the way, and see reaction videos to, to bed bugs, the way they react to heat, and they run away from it. They try to get away from it. They try to go anywhere they can to get away from the heat. They will crawl up in the wall. They will go around your outlets. They will... In fact, I have taken outlet covers off of, you know, wall outlets, plugs, and found bed bugs living behind them. So if the bed bugs can get access, you know, inside the wall of your home, then they're going to, that's where they're, that's where they're going to go. That's where they've been living. And so your house is not a pot. Your house is porous. There are holes that the bed bugs can escape the heat. But that's not what we're going to talk about tonight. Tonight, we're going to talk about freezer treatments. All right. Apparently, there are some exterminators going around selling bed bug freeze treatments. Um, now, the way cold affects bed bugs, you have to get a bed bug below zero degrees Fahrenheit, which freezing is 32 degrees Fahrenheit for water. And so you need to get it below zero degrees Fahrenheit to freeze a bed bug and kill it. Um, your freezer on your refrigerator is probably not even cold enough to kill bed bugs. You can put them in the freezer, it won't kill them. Um, so what these guys are doing is they're going around with these hoses and it's got like liquid nitrogen and things like that. And I'm not exactly sure what it runs off of to tell you the truth. I haven't done an awful lot of research on what they use in it. But it doesn't really matter because the machine drops the temperature to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very cold. And it will kill bed bugs on contact. Um, it kills the eggs that are laid. It kills the bed bugs. It kills everything. It'll kill spiders. It'll kill, you know, basically it freezes it solid and breaks it apart and kills it. The problem is... The exact same problem with heat treatments. You can't get it cold everywhere. 
Just like you can't get it hot everywhere. You can't get it cold everywhere. You'll kill the bed bugs that are living on the mattress. You'll kill the bed bugs that are living in the box spring. You'll kill the bed bugs wherever you use that freeze gun. You're going to kill the bed bugs. But the problem is the places you can't get the freeze gun to go. Just like with the heat treatment, you can't get the heat where it needs to go. Uh, you know, you can take your car and you can park it in the middle of a parking lot and the direct sunlight and the bed bugs will die in the car. You know, if you're worried that you might have infested your car with bed bugs or something like that, people do that from time to time. And by just, you know, transporting themselves in and out of the car and the clothes they wear and, the, you know, they grab the clothes out of their nightstand. Maybe they got some bed bugs in their nightstand or in their dresser or whatever and they put their clothes on. They get in their car and the bed bugs crawl out of the clothes and they get into their car. You can infest your car with bed bugs, but typically all you need to do is take your car like a Walmart parking lot. You know, sorry, I got an itchy eye. You, you park the car so the uh, windshield is facing the afternoon sun and the back part of your windshield or whatever that part is called, the glass, the window on the back, that part is facing the morning sun. So basically your car is, paint, uh, is uh, facing east-west. And that way, when the sun goes up, you get the most of your morning sun. And when it goes down, you get all your evening sun. And the car gets nice and hot, you know, 120, 130 plus degrees. And it kills bed bugs in the car. So you won't have to worry about bed bugs in your car. Um, oh, what's wrong with my eye tonight? It's really itchy tonight. Hope I don't have pink eye. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, like I said, freezing, it's, it's a really expensive treatment, just like the heat machines. You know, you got a two, three bedroom house. Guy comes out, says, oh yeah, we can do a heat treatment. It's going to be $950 per bedroom. And after things are said and done, you've spent three, $4,000 on a heat treatment. If they're not using propane heaters, they're using electric heaters. They're running it off electricity in your house. And then you get a huge electric bill because they're leaving these machines running 24 hours, you know, and they heat up based on your electric bill. Um... That's not good. You know, that's really expensive. It's not good. It's, it's you know, you're already paying enough for the bed bug treatment, and then you got a, hot, a high he a heating bill on top of it. Um, so that's not good. So he comes in and he tries. Now they're trying to sell freeze treatments because people have been watching my YouTube. People have been doing their research and realizing that heat treatments aren't effective. And so now they're trying to sell these liquid cooled freezer treatments and they're trying to kill bed bugs with a freezer gun like Mr. Freeze from Batman or something you know I mean it's 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 really honestly I think it it's a gimmick it's a gimmick it's a scam it's not going to work don't fall for it don't spend a fortune for these treatments that are no good they don't work they're not effective and they fail all the time. I'll tell you a story real quick. Now, this is a heat treatment story. Now, I haven't heard of anybody locally except just tonight. I got off the phone with a lady who told me that someone tried to sell her a freeze treatment. Um, I had a customer who did a heat treatment. They had the exterminator made her put bed bags on the beds, on the box spring and the bed, the mattress. He would not do the heat treatment until the beds were, were wrapped in these covers. All right. For nine months, the bed bags sat there on the beds. And as the person got in and out of the bed, the box spring kind of rubbed against the bed frame. And so everywhere there was a little bolt on the bed frame, it tore little holes in the bed bag on the box spring. Because really it's wood against metal. And, and there's a little piece of cloth between it. But really it's, it's mostly wood against metal when it comes to a box spring laying on a bed frame. And everywhere there was a hole through the bed bag, the, the baby bed bugs crawled out of that hole and started biting that woman again. So, and the, the thing is, the mattresses and the box springs were in the apartment during the heat treatment. They got hot. The bed bugs couldn't get out. They were stuck in the mattress, in the box spring. And they still had bed bugs alive inside the box spring. 
So understand heat treatments, it's really honestly just a way to steal your money. And the freeze treatments are no better. Um, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. You can check me out on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I've got a website, greenacrespc.com. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, think about subscribing to my channel. I do live shows on Friday nights where I answer any questions you have. So, you know, if you're available Friday night, now so it's different times. I don't have a specific time set. I try to do it every Friday night because I, uh, yeah, I mean, I try my best to do it every Friday night. And uh, if I can, you know, it, it, I've got kids. So, you know, I can't always be on every Friday, but I try my best to. Y'all have a really great night. Really appreciate it. And uh, hope you guys are able to get rid of your bed bug problems. Thanks.